So quite regularly, Disney releases limited edition mystery puzzle pins that are called character connections. They have tons of them for different movies. These character connection puzzle pins are often very costly and very difficult to collect. And thankfully up until this point, there hadn't been any where it's like, oh, I need to have those um, until now because they came out finally with an Emperor's New Groove character connections mystery puzzle set. So these are quite difficult to collect because these are mystery pins pin sets that only have one pin per box. They are a limited edition, typically always around limited edition of 900, and they become very expensive. This one singular mystery pin box retails for $19.99. But obviously I love to collect Emperor's New Groove and I am absolutely in love with the pins that they've included in this puzzle set. So here's a closer look at our Emperor's New Groove Character Connections Limited Edition Mystery Puzzle Pin. On the top of this here, they show all of the mystery pins that are available. Or I shouldn't say all, these are all of the regular Limited Edition 900 pins. So the regular pins in this set, we have Pacha, Cusco as a Human, we have Chaka, we have Chicha, uh, the Jaguar, we have Kronk, theme song guy, which that is amazing, Cusco as a llama, Yzma, and then Bucky the squirrel. And then in addition to these regular pins, there are two LE600 chaser pins, which I've seen there is an Yzma the cat and a Kronk in his Squirrel Scout guide uniform. So as you can see, this set really is made for me. To start off, I got four boxes to open today, although I do already have four more boxes coming on the way because this really is a set that I'm gonna wanna collect all of them and I really am gonna want those chaser pins too because those are so cool. But we're gonna start off with these four boxes and again, only one pin per box. So we better not end up with any duplicates out of this batch. So although it's just one pin inside, they still are in the classic little black blind bags. And we'll get going and see what our first pin is here. And we have started off with Theme Song Guy which as you can see, he matches perfectly with my ears. These are hand-painted ears from Yub Nub Shop. Uh, so I have a lot of Emperor's New Groove pins and this is definitely the only pin I've ever seen and the only one I have now that features the theme song guy on it. The puzzle pieces are always a pretty nice size and the corners here have some translucent fill enamel. And then on the back, you can see that this is one of the regular LE900 pins. So cool start there with a really rare character. And then we go on to box number two. And this pin here, we have Pacha. Here's a close up on this Pacha pin. The overall designs and kind of backgrounds of the pins are kept pretty simple and we got a nice focus on the character. This one as well is just one of the regular non-chaser pins. Okay, then we have box number three here. Okay, and let's see if we can get a chaser. Which, yes! I just like immediately manifested that as I opened this. This is the Kronk Chaser Pin. I am in love with this pin. This is so cool. This is Kronk dressed up in a Squirrel Scout guide outfit. And then he has little Bucky the Squirrel along with him. You don't get too many pins of Kronk dressed up in this outfit, so I'm loving that this was included as a chaser. And then here is the back of this pin. This does have stamped chaser pin on it. And then I misspoke earlier because these chaser pins are actually only a limited edition of 500. All right, final box for now. If I can get the Yzma chaser, I would be over the moon, but as long as it is a character that I don't already have, then I'll still be very happy. Then we have our last pin here. This is the regular Kronk. This is another really cool design for Kronk. This one, I guess we'll call it his spinach puffs getup because you can tell he has his oven mitts on for making spinach puffs. So we were lucky to get both of the Kronks. And then obviously this is just the regular non-chaser Kronk. So I'm quite pleased with the pins that I got from these four boxes. I didn't think I could actually luck out getting a chaser pin, so I am super psyched about that. This also means that I have a good start on the way to collecting the entire set. 
Hopefully the other four boxes I have coming will have some other good assortment of pins in there. Obviously that'll only equal eight pins total, so I'm gonna have to end up getting more some way, but I don't wanna buy too many now in case I do end up with doubles and then need to trade some. So it's definitely a little bit frustrating how expensive this pin set is gonna be as a whole, but whenever I can finish it and get it up on my boards, it's gonna look so cool. Also, I will be down in Walt Disney World very soon, so I can see if these pins are still in stock when I get there, if I need to get more. But I guess wish me luck in trying to complete this set. But thanks for watching!